This episode of The Blind Film Critic is brought to you by Unique Energy Drink, the uncommon energy built with help in mind. You know, they didn't really monkey around with this one too much. They did a nice job. Coming out of the theater, I was so surprised. This movie was so much better than I thought it was gonna be, honestly. I was very happy. I may not be the exact right audience for this movie, but it's pretty solid, and I'll tell you what, it's gonna be a good date film. Let's talk about the performances in this one. Alexander Skarsgård as Tarzan was pretty fantastic. I was right with him the whole way, I was buying it, you know? Very believable. He even did the Tarzan yell. Well, all right, maybe somebody did it for him, but it was still pretty good. Margot Robbie is Jane, and she was just as important in this story as Tarzan. Plus, she had a ton to work with. She was strong, she was believable, and she really helped to move the story along. Samuel L. Jackson. Well, you know what? He does what Samuel L. Jackson does, and he does it very well. He was sort of comic relief in this one. You know, I was always waiting for him. I wanted to see what he was going to do next. He never really shook his persona, but it was okay. You know, I, listen, he was so likable <laughs> that it was just fine. Christoph Waltz plays Mr. Rom. Now, the one problem I had was he wasn't scary enough. He wasn't diabolical enough. You know what I mean? I wanted to be afraid watching this guy, and I just wasn't. However, I don't think that's his fault. I think that's just the way the character was written. The script for this one was nice. I mean, they spent a lot of time on character development, which I like. You know, there were some parts where it was a little slow between action scenes. And the other thing I was missing, I would have liked to see a little bit more of the wild Tarzan. In terms of the writing, one of the things I thought was sort of strange was just the way the characters were written. For example, this takes place in 1890, and Samuel L. Jackson says, we're screwed? Did they really say that in 1890? I don't think so. And then there's Jane. You know, the dialogue was okay, but she just sounded like a regular girl. There was nothing terribly exotic about her. You know, just a normal American girl. I felt like at one point she was gonna ask where her iPhone was. <laughs> My favorite part of this movie was the sound. I mean, let's start with the score. You know, it really helps to tell the story. It helps to move the story forward. And from my point of view, I get to know what's happening just by the different music changes. For example, when Christoph Waltz is on screen, it's a little more ominous. It's a little scary, the music, right? When Jane's on screen, it's just a little bit more gentle. When Tarzan's on screen, it's a little more spectacular. And when they're in the jungle, it becomes very obvious. Lots of drums, lots of African rhythms. It's great. And then the sound design. And during the fight sequences, oh, it's so spectacular. It's beautiful use of stereo. There are moments when the apes are swinging their arms around, and then they deliver a punch. And you can not only hear it, but you can feel it. And then it moves from left to right as the punch flies across the theater. Boy, how about those ape sounds, huh? I don't know who they got to make that noise. Let me just, just for a goof, let me see if I can do it. Ready? Hey, pretty good. So for The Legend of Tarzan, I'm giving it three out of four eyes open. There are a couple of things I think women are really gonna enjoy about this movie. Do you know what they are? Alexander Skarsgård's pecs. <laughs> Thanks to our sponsor, Unique Energy Drink, the uncommon energy built with health in mind. You know, what's different about this than other energy drinks is it's got red reishi mushrooms. Yeah, that gives you more of a cognitive lift rather than a physical one. The objective of Unique is to give you the benefit of the other drinks without the negative effects, you know, like the jitters or the rapid heart rate. To find out where you can get Unique, just go to the website, uniqueenergydrink.com. I got big news for you. We have brand new limited edition blind film critic apparel. Yeah, you can get a hat or a t-shirt or even a hoodie with that logo on it. Isn't that beautiful? Hmm? Don't you love that thing? Yeah, you can wear that all around town and be the envy of all your friends. Just click the link in the description or visit the website blindfilmcritic.com and learn how to get yours. I can think of a six pack of reasons that women will like this movie. This is a great date movie. You can tell. You know, it's not going to be a good raisin movie, but it's certainly going to be a good date movie. Not a fig movie, friends, but a date movie. <laughs>